with families, uh, I think it's very difficult uh, as a registered nurse. It's kind of when you call the family and talk about your, your mom or your dad getting into this uh, palliative care, and you have to talk the end of life pathway, and you can see in their faces that it's really getting into them. And the fact that you know, you're explaining what sort of pain management that you're going to do, it's some kind of, it's, it's really hard to talk to them about it. Um, there are some families who's not accepting it. Um, it's really difficult to sit down and explain it to them, but you have to, you have to, you really have to be tough and resilient to do it. Um, and then I do have, I just remember a couple of months back, I have one resident who just passed away. He is in a palliative care already. And then I, ha I, was, tasked, I was asked to call the family to say that the father is gone. So it's kind of, it's a mixed emotion. You, you don't know what to say. You can't, it's pretty awkward to say like, you know, how are you doing? Because you're you are trying to talk about something that happened, that your father is gone. It's, it's a sad, sad scenario that you're going to explain it to them. How did it happen? Broaching subjects um, about end of life care or um, what do you want to do, you know, towards the end of life, it's, they're also um, such stark, um, straight in your face questions that, you know, people often think we need to come straight out with when we meet somebody. Uh, and, you know, particularly, um, probably the, the hardest thing is to know what to say. And that's been the biggest thing that's come across my path with mentoring um, colleagues across different disciplines is what do I say? You know, how do I broach a conversation, um, you know, about what, what is important, what matters most to a person? If you know who your resident is, if you know who the person is a little bit more, what are they like? Simply saying what matters most to you, um, using resources. So the, some of the best resources I've found have been via um, Care Surge, Palliative Care Australia has got a great, um, the Dying to Talk series. So when we look at, um, you know, resources to support those conversations, even looking at them before you go in to guide you, um, just as to, I think when you think about communication, if you didn't have any props around you, you'd just be doing it naturally. And so I, I see that talking about very important things like, how does it feel to be unwell? How does it feel to lose your independence? Um, they're really good ways of starting a conversation. You know, what brings you joy? What matters most to you? I asked my father that. Um, he has dementia and Alzheimer's, and I said that to him, and he said, my wife. So when you think about that, you can start to unpack what it means for someone like my dad um, when you're dealing with your elders, whether you're working in a residential facility or you're working in their own home. What's important to you? And so if you were to explore that further and say, well, gee, your wife's really important, um, you know, what's important if, if you were to, to get sick, you know, or to be really frail and you couldn't look after yourself? And some people will surprise you with their responses. So um, it could be that they're really wanting to make sure that their pets are well looked after and so on. So knowing who your person is by just asking some simple questions can really help you. So when you look at the resources that are around, like the What Matters Most, the Dying to Talk series specific to aged care is a really good start. Beautiful resources. I love the I love the hard copy versions. You can get them, you can print them, but I like to order the fresh ones. Um, you've got cards, um, diversional therapists. You know, engaging in these discussions as a normal part of your day can be the best way to go about it. So don't be frightened. It could be that it's too raw for you because of an experience you've had. So don't be too hard on yourself.